Hey folks, so today's going to be a bit of a boring video, but the information is important. But what I'm going to do, because it's going to be a bit boring, is I'm just going to do some of my enhancing profit in the background. Uh, so I've got a few things that I'm wanting to enhance at the moment. Um, they're all price, but so that's because where the easy money is. And I want to discuss something about that. So I say easy money, obviously it's always a gamble. There's no guarantee that you're going to make profit. It, it's it's like gambling in real life so there's ways to edit the chances in your favor rather than the house's favor as it were the game being the house um but there's no guarantee that you're going to win but on average over a long time you should profit from it that's basically how it works so basically like i've got a 50 percent chance so i've got 25 so i should make at least 12 and a half I think I've got 25. Hang on, how many have I actually got? I think I ended up with more. 10, 20, 30. So I should make 15 to make profit, basically. And that's just how it works. But that is working off the price of things that I bought as well. So I could easily just buy 30 items and enhance them and be like, I made 15, I made profit, but that's not how it works because there's so many things to take into account about whether it's made profit or not and um, so it's a case of you really got to make sure that you've got the correct things going like for you to make profit from it so there's no guaranteed profit from enhancing it's not a thing however you can guarantee that over time you will make profit i think this is good proof that there's no guarantee that you'll make profit three fails in a row on a 50 percent chance oh this this is amazing shall we just see how this goes I know this is meant to be like a discussion on like um how to put things into your favor. Okay, so that's not so bad. We've got one. Um Did I actually get the rings of Cadme? Yeah, I'm enhancing one right now, so it's using the one up there. So I didn't think about that, so I'm gonna have an extra cadre in my inventory at the end of this, because I forgot I had one on me from a while ago. Um no. I'm gonna grab that but yeah so it's a case of like it's hard to actually explain this in like terms of like keeping it short and sweet but i was thinking about it and it's just a case of research the biggest thing that you can do to make more profit out of enhancing is research the more you research the market the more you research how your percentage chances are going to affect it the more you research the maths behind it all, the more likely you are to make profit. It's it's not a simple, I've got a fail stack, let's click and make profit. Unless you just don't fail. It's, it, I mean, if you don't fail, you're gonna make profit. But one of the biggest things that people need to understand, it's like gambling in real life for the amount of money you put towards it. Now, some people will be like, just put all in all your money, you can win. Now, there's someone in my comments uh, before, I can't remember his name, I could check, but uh, I didn't think about it until I was just mentioning this, said that they've done like eight Tet, um, I was going to say Debereka, but it's not Debereka, um, what are they called? Black Distortion Earrings, um, and like failed every single time, and they're like basically at the verge of quitting the game. The mistake they made there, almost like a mistake I made, uh, was they are enhancing something that they can't afford to lose. If you're enhancing for profit especially, they're doing it for the characters, so that's kind of a different matter. But if you're enhancing for profit, uh, I need to just grab some more thoughties so I can keep on enhancing. Um, like if you're enhancing for profit, you need to make sure whatever you're enhancing, if it fails all of them, you still have money left. So what I like to um, do, hang on, I'm just gonna, yeah, that doesn't do anything. I was just gonna grab a load of stacks into here. Um, I like to go 10% of the money that I actually have. That's the numbers I work off. So let's say I have 10 million to put, uh, 10 billion to play with. I would only use 1 billion on enhancing. That just means that if it all goes to pot, I still have money to buy more to enhance. But I'd always make sure that I get back up to that number or above. 
before buying and enhancing again. Now it doesn't exactly work like that because I've got like loads of pre-orders and everything. So, but I know just how much I can afford to enhance per session, and that's one really good way to make sure that you're not losing out on money and like making yourself unnecessarily struggle. So you want to basically make sure that you have a limit. Don't just go, I'm going to invest all my money. I'm just going to keep buying off the market. Just do pre-orders because then that slows down the amount of money that you're putting in because you're waiting for your pre-orders to come through. And also like accept that you can have days like this. Like I, I don't even know what my percentages are now, but it's definitely not 50%. Um, I'll work it out when I finish though. It might pull it back up to 50%. I should really tidy this up. After this successful fail, I'll tidy these up. But it's literally, you just have to keep going through these, honestly. So I'll just move all these up here. Sorry, bear with me. It's not too bad. I'm three behind, or one and a half behind average. It's actually going better than I thought it was. I thought I was actually worse off there. Uh, but yeah, so honestly, just be conservative with it. Don't be like, I can invest all my money and double it. That's not going to happen. It can happen, but it can't happen reliably. So, I mean, I can invest like three billion in a day. I mean, I can invest that, like the actual amount that I can invest varies, but let's say if I did invest three billion in a day, I would look at making a 10% profit overall. So like 300 million. I'm not saying I only make 300 million every day. I make more. Uh, or I can make less. Um, but it's a case of that's what my aim is. I aim to grow the amount of money I have by 10% per session. But I will not go, oh, I've lost like half a billion because I've just had really bad luck. Therefore, I need to invest more. I just basically write that money off so let's say i lost um 300 million but my aim is to earn 300 million i would basically say okay i lost that that day the next day i'll try and earn 600 million but i won't go out my way to earn if it's another loss i'll just note it down so just note down how much you gain or lose and then basically just over I mean, hell, it's over the years, you'll notice that on average, you're actually making profit. I mean, some people have better luck than others. That's just how it works. One thing to bear in mind, though, is the more you enhance in one session, the more likely you are to average out on your profits if you're doing it correctly. Like if you're enhancing uh, black distortions the whole time. Black distortion. I think that's correct. I don't know. Just didn't sound right for some reason. Uh, but I oh know because honestly, I, I keep saying the wrong thing. Um, it's because I'm enhancing and trying to think of what I'm saying at the same time. So I do say the wrong thing sometimes. Uh, I know black distortion is right. I was thinking I said black Deborah for some reason. Uh, like if you're enhancing black distortions the whole time, just getting the average that you were trying to get for like tests. So it's like what, three out of 10, you'll have made a loss. That's the thing that you've got to be really careful with. You need to know what makes profit on average to be making profit overall. You can't just go, oh, there's a 30% chance. I'll just go enhance these, um, like a thousand of them and I'll get the right amount. So let's have a look at how I did today. So three, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that's two below average. So I've most likely made a loss. However, technically I may not have made a loss if I work out the numbers because I did enough to pretty much break average. So if you basically have more that you can invest and then do more in one go, the losses will be less and the profits will technically be less if you're being over lucky, if that makes sense. So you're more likely to be on average. And that's basically been the whole gist of this video. Um, it's been 10 minutes, so I'm gonna end it here. Um, I may go through and do timestamps, I may not, because it's kind of all the same thing. So honestly, just don't invest your whole money into it. It's not going to 
like if you're having a bad day stop just try again another day don't just keep going down the rabbit hole so if I just move all these across to sell so you can see on average how much I'm getting uh, 100 and then these are worth a bit more but I'm gonna list them up here and wait for them to sell so that's 1.1 billion these are above average so that's another uh, two and a half billion so I mean I'm not doing it accurate on the say the actual percentages I'm just assuming and that's another 1.4. So I've got a lot of money there that's going to come back through. Um, I actually started today at 10 billion, but I've put through a few buy orders and things. So it's not just that's what I put in. Uh, I've, at the moment, this this is basically all I've got for sale. Everything came through. But then I've got all my buy orders, which cuts down my actual money. As you can see, like... Um, I've got orders from some try Arkenrads, that's 2.2 .2 billion. Um, I purchased those. It's all, yeah, most of the things I just purchased just for this video. Uh, some of these are like pre orders that have come through, just it says purchase when you get it. Uh, some pre buys lists there. So it's a case of just keep putting the correct buy orders in. You need to know what makes money. Um, and it, it's pretty easy to work out. As I said, I've got my um, calculator for you guys. So you can just put in the, I know the market fluctuates, so it does vary. But let's say if we go to Bazzi's, I did say I was going to end it, but then, so basically you just need to work out 50% chance of selling this. So is one of these being sold worth more at like the tax value than two Price and two basilisks cost plus the stack cost. And that's all you need to know. Obviously, if you're buying it at minimum buy order, that's like 77 million rather than 83 million. That's a 6 million difference towards your profits. Especially when you sell, you're going to, you're going to sell at the average price as well rather than, you don't, you don't sell down here. That's a bad idea. Sell at the average or as high as you can go. So that's everything for this video. I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao for now.